everybody this is three three readings and this reading is going to be for aries aries sun moon rising and venus signs let's see what are the messages that pop out for aries let's see aries this may or may not resonate since it's a general reading and not a personal one right so this may or may not resonate for you this one's for Aries. Okay, let's see. Where are the messages for Aries? Okay. See so you being very closed off. Huh? Let's see. So there is somebody who is very money focused here okay probably your person and Aries I'm also getting that um, you're missing them you're missing them they are on your mind somebody's on your mind but then I see you being very very focused on your uh, on your work your finances your goals okay like you miss this person but you're focused on your work okay a lot um yeah you miss them but what else see you being focused on your work more um your stability your um whatever it is that helps you move forward in life mostly your money and your career is a big thing here Your person right now, the Seven of Cups. What else? Could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Let's see. Oh, Aries. They see, they see you as an Aries, of course. So the person that you're dealing with is um, missing you. They're also thinking a lot about you. They're very much in their head about you. But um, I feel like expressing it is a problem with this person. They kind of keep tabs on you. Tell me more about this person Aries is dealing with. Oh yeah, Wheel of Fortune. That's nice. Ten of Pentacles. So Aries, this person definitely wants to communicate with you. Okay. Uh, I feel like there has been a fallout between the two of you. Like an ending of some sort here. But somebody is planning to come back around. And right now they're thinking about... They're thinking about it. Yeah, Knight of Cups. This person is on your mind. Three of Wands. Some of you are waiting to hear from them, Aries. Okay, some of you would like to hear from this person. Let's see. Empress. Uh, so I do see that there was, uh, could be a Libra, could be an Aries, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo energy is also here. So what I see Aries is that there was somebody that, I feel like you two just fell apart. There was lack of growth in the relationship and you two just fell apart. However, this person is on your mind. Like, see, you're, you are thinking about them, even though you're focused more so on your work, you feel like it's a dead end relationship that doesn't have any, you know, particular outcome so why give into it however your person's kind of like wanting to come back around they stalk you they stalk you that's for sure four of cups is how you are right now yeah you're really missing this person but some of you some of you don't like the fact that this person doesn't buckle up like they don't really buckle up they don't give you what you want in a relationship aries so that kind of bothers you. So that's like a turn off for you. Some of you are getting turned off by this person, even though you're waiting, like, what is this? Um, some of you think that even like, if you try to communicate with them, they might not be interested or they might ignore you. So that also the distance between the two of you is bothering you. Okay, you, you're not about that life. They're trying to focus more so on your work see 
Hey, so you, you look at that. I just said that you're, you're more so focused on your work. Some of you are heavily focused on work. Uh, some of you will have a new opportunity or a huge uh, decision that's going to be made in your favor in terms of your work, finances, goals. Yeah, Eight of Cups. You're walking away to pursue your career. You're walking away to pursue your own stability here. Okay? Because there wasn't any in this relationship with this person. Outcome is the King of Wands. What else? The sun could be dealing with the Leo, Aries, Sag, Three of Swords. You feel heartbroken by this person. But Aries, you're walking away, but this person isn't. Okay? This person is not walking away from you. They're still interested in um, taking things forward with you. Okay? And they see their happiness with you. Okay? They really, really do keep tabs on you. This person doesn't express much or you might be if 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 like they did something to you you might be getting an apology from this person but are you even interested in that L look at that like magician and the um, seven of pentacles so i see that one person could be gemini could be taurus virgo capricorn leo energies here scorpio for you it's done look at that because you got heartbroken so you're leaving it behind you're leaving this person behind you're focused on your own self could be sagittarius that you're dealing with okay you don't want to get heartbroken again even though this person is on your mind i feel like letting go of this person is like an issue but you're still trying to do so what i see is that one person wants to make it happen and the other one doubts it the other one doubts that there's like i doubt there's going to be growth in it some of you are focusing on a new business venture or a new financial opportunity. Like finances are a huge thing in your life right now. Trying to make things happen for yourself. If it's not finances, could be study. Like something related to your own life other than the love department. But Aries, this person that you're dealing with. Oh my God, nine of swords. They're anxious and stressed that you, you're leaving them behind. Look at that. Somebody's rushing in to communicate with you because they're not happy that you might be leaving them behind. Look at that. They're seriously rushing in to communicate with you. They miss you. They miss being with you. Okay. Um, even though you have emotions for this person, I really don't see you indulging in it. Like, because you think that it's a dead end relationship. Like, what am I going to get out of it? Um, even if I give in to it, you know? That's how you're seeing it. Heavily focused on work. Give me energy for Aries and their specific person, please. Give me energy. I actually want to pick out your overall energy from now till the end of the month. What else is the overall energy from now till the end of the month? I just see walking away for the most part. Yeah, because you think that it's a dead-end relationship. You don't want to indulge in something that drains you energetically. You don't want to give in to any situation that drains you. You're, you're, you're done. Um, you're done. You're, you're seeming done. I'm trying to walk away to pursue your own thing. Give me energy for Aries and their specific... Oh my god, okay. Give your relationship a chance and a wedding. Some of you could be married or maybe this person wants to, you know, get married to you. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. I do see that they want to come back around. They want another chance. I see them coming back around to apologize to you, okay? Give me one more for Aries. Oops. Okay. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Yeah, I, I do see I do see that you're letting it go. Um, you're letting it go for the most part. You're focused on yourself. You don't want to control the situation anymore. Some of you are keeping your options open, true love, and this could be the one. That's how they think about you. Some of you are still in love with this person, but, you know, it's, it's more, the, the thing is that you want to choose yourself. You want to choose your own growth over, like, you don't want to waste your time is what I see. Very soon. 
chemistry. So Aries, I do see somebody reaching out to you because they feel a pull towards you, attraction towards you, but you're you're kind of like letting it go. Um, they're determined to apologize to you or make something happen with you because they do see that you're walking away and they don't want it, Aries. They don't. They want to pursue you. Some of you are disinterested, feeling discontent in this relationship with this person, okay? Some of you think that <clears throat> waiting for this buck this person to buckle up like it's never gonna happen because you've waited so long already so you're tired of something right you're tired of something you feel like now it's time for you to focus on yourself and not this person anymore or this relationship i see you giving up but this person isn't i it's, seriously i see them coming coming back around apologizing or trying to make things happen with you again okay that's the energy that i'm getting is that somebody wants to come back around? Somebody wants to make things happen, right? What is the advice for Aries to close off this reading? Oh, there's a card here. Queen of Wands. Knight of Wands. Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So Aries Leo Sag energy. A lot of communication is coming from somebody. A lot of communication. Um... For some of you, this person was behaving like a player with the Three of Swords and the Death. So that's why you ended things because you didn't want to get involved with somebody who has multiple options. Okay. But expect a lot of communication. A lot of communication. And a comeback around. Return of a past person. Okay. Kind of was like, oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Return of a past person. Anyway, so that's about it, Aries. Those were the messages that popped out for you for now. Take care of yourself. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. This is 3-3 Readings. Bye-bye.